Today we're going to learn how to play three very popular songs on the saxophone. I'm also going to tell you how you can get the sheet music for free, as well as some really cool smart accompaniment tracks to play along with. This is a super fun way to get better on a saxophone, so let's jump right in. Perfect by Ed Sheeran is a great simple melody that's got to be pretty easy for us to learn. A big thank you to Tom Play for sponsoring this video and for providing us with the sheet music and backing tracks that we're using throughout this video. So to play perfect on the alto sax, all you need is your F major scale. If you play tenor or soprano saxophone, it's your B flat major scale. On the Tom Play app, you can just choose the tenor sax version and it'll transpose everything for you. Now, if you know how to read sheet music, the Tom Play app is fantastic. You just choose the song you wanna play, pick the difficulty level you wanna work with, and go. But as I said, all the notes from this song come out of that F major scale. So if you know that scale and know the melody pretty well in your head, you could just kinda play the lyrics on your saxophone. This is a great option if you don't read sheet music all that well. And this way you end up playing a version of the song that's unique to you. So what I like to do is when I'm opening the tune in the Tom Play app, I choose the Tom Improv version of the score. This gives me more of a lead sheet that serves as a guide as I play through the song. You see, it gives me the first few notes of each section as well as the chords. So now I can just play the tune following the guide along with the accompaniment and I don't have to read any notes. Now here's a power tip for you guys. I want you to try doing this with any song that you're working on. Instead of just playing the notes, I want you to try playing the words on your saxophone like this. Just thinking of the lyrics this way while you're playing it on your saxophone makes a world of difference in how the phrasing comes out. The next song we're gonna check out that's great for beginning saxophone players is Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone by Bill Withers. <laughs> This melody has even fewer notes than the last one. It's only got six notes in the whole thing. The song is in the key of F sharp minor for alto saxophone, and I like to think of the melody as being based on the F sharp minor pentatonic scale with one other note occasionally thrown in there, the G sharp or second scale degree. I have a whole method for learning how to play songs by ear and even start improvising over them. It's called the Pentatonic Foundation Course. It's fantastic for beginners and you could find that over at bettersax.com. Now, if you wanna get the sheet music as well as the backing tracks and try out the Tom Play app you see me using in this video, go to the link in the description and sign up for a free 14-day trial of Tom Play. You'll get full access for two weeks, and in that amount of time, you should have no trouble learning all three of these songs. You can change the tempo, follow along with the fingering guide if you need any help there, record yourself right into the app, play with or without the recorded saxophone part or vocals, and a whole lot more. It really is an amazing tool for practicing and learning. I know a lot of people who watch Better Sax videos who have been getting a tremendous value out of their Tom Play subscriptions, so I encourage you to give it a try and at least take advantage of that 14-day free trial by using that.
that link in the description. So again, the choice is yours. You can either read the sheet music or you could just think of the scale and play the lyrics on your saxophone the way I like to do. Let's give it a try together using the Tom Improv score. So we had a pop tune, then a soul tune. Now let's try a jazz standard. Let's play Fly Me to the Moon. Now don't worry, this song is definitely something beginners can handle and I'm gonna show you how. Assuming you already know the melody in your ear, I want you to think of all the notes to Fly Me to the Moon as being your A major scale on alto saxophone. That would be D major for tenor and soprano. Most of the melody is just that major scale moving up and down. We start out on the root, go down five notes, and then back up. Then we skip back up to the root, and go back down the scale. When we get to the first syllable of the word Jupiter, we've got our first non-diatonic note. That just means a note outside of that major scale. And that's our F natural, and then we just go back down the major scale. On the word in of in other words, we've got our next non-diatonic note, which is the A sharp, otherwise known as B flat. So if you can just keep in mind those two oddball notes and remember the words they land on, you've got the tricky parts of this sorted out. The rest of the notes in the whole song come out of that A major scale, and most of the time it's just moving up and down in stepwise motion. I prefer to learn melodies this way, and this is what I teach my students. It allows me a bit more freedom to interpret the melody with my own phrasing as I want to, and it just looks better when you're performing and you're not tied to that sheet music. But if you need it or just prefer to play with the sheet music, no problem, the Tom Play app has got you covered. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one for you using the Tom Improv score. Once again, I'm gonna put my own phrasing on it, but stick with all of the notes of the melody, always thinking about the lyrics. <laughs> Don't forget to go sign up for your 14 day trial of the Tom Play app and let me know in the comments how the app works for you and how you've been using it. Then I want you to go watch this video next where I show you how to improvise over basic chord changes like the ones you find in Ain't No Sunshine.